Police say Jones broke into the construction site where a liquor store was being built. He jumped in a forklift, did more than $100,000 in damage. Before Next to a terrifying shootout in Florida. Florida man and also carjacked with a suspect leading to police on a long chase through Volusia County. The deadly exchange of gunfire that followed all the kind of the chief's body camp. ABC's dying to say it's a real It's about as close as a close call can get. Watch as the hat on his Florida deputy sets me off his head. Florida's herpes-infected monkey population is booming, and it could have fatal consequences. What's the plan to control Florida's deceased monkey population? Welcome back to the sunshine state of fucking insanity. Now we have... What? How did this happen? Let's go, let's, let's, let's try to figure out what the fuck happened here. There are more than 200 Rezus macaques living in the forest and along the riverbanks of Silver Spring State Park. According to a newly published study, 30% of these monkeys carry herpes B, a virus that can be deadly if contracted by humans. Now, did we fuck a goddamn razor? Who fucked a macaque? Who the fuck did it? Somebody fucked a monkey somewhere. Since 1938, visitors started coming into the park for something other than manatees and alligators. A boat captain by the name of Colonel Tui released a group of six monkeys as a tourist attraction. The idea was to create an African jungle cruise. Tui overlooked one crucial detail about the monkeys. They were excellent swimmers. The six monkeys Tui put on the island in the middle of the river escaped. Tui purchased six more resist macaques and over time the population formed many monkey troops containing 40 to 50 monkeys. Oh, where are the wild boys when you need them? The herpes virus can be transmitted by splashing of body fluids from the animal to the human, especially if the infected fluid landed on the human eyes, mouth, open, wound. Dr. Sally Alaraba said, You don't mess with monkeys in the wild. No shit! I mean, why would you mess with them in the first place? Oh, the fuck? Like, what are we in, like, Thailand? Like, the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Even with modern treatments, Alaraba said the mortality rate for the virus is 20%. Without treatment, Alaraba said it would lead to certain death. Survivors can suffer permanent, debilitating side effects. A paralysis? or seizure disorder, memory problems, or even personality changes because the virus sometimes goes to what we call the temporal lobes. That's where the emotions and like things like that are, Alaraba said. Symptoms of the virus are similar to the flu. So a paralysis or seizure disorder or memory problems is flu symptoms. I, I did not know that. I did not fucking know that. Headaches, nausea, just not feeling well, Alaraba said. Tingling in the hands and feet because the virus likes to go to nerves. The final stage is when it actually attacks like the nerve cells because uh, the nerve damage and the nerve death. Jesus Christ, I'm guessing that's part of the flu symptoms as well. I've never had a flu that attacked my nerves and gave me paralysis and, uh, you know, herpes videos showing encounters between humans and monkeys at Silver Springs Park have gone viral! No pun intended. That was seriously fucking written down! In February, one couple said they were walking on the boardwalk when another visitor to the park came running towards them. She says there is a monkey chasing me! And I look at her and I'm like, is this woman crazy? JC Castillo said, Seconds later, Castillo saw a monkey walking towards him and started recording. As soon as he turns around and looks at me, he starts charging, Castillo said. So, I turn around and like start running. Castillo's girlfriend was behind him and already in a full sprint. I've never seen her run that fast. I was really freaked out because I knew they had diseases, so I was panicking and I didn't know what to do. Janae Mus. Yorilelli said. They were shaking branches and getting mad. It was so scary and in the moment, and it was one of the scariest moments of my life. Surrounded by 40 to 50 monkeys, Castillo and Massa Fuck Your Name 
said they just wanted to get the hell out of there. It was crazy, and you really don't know what to do when something like that happens. It seemed like a scene from Jumanji. According to the CDC, Hundreds of bites and scratches occur every year in monkey facilities in the United States, but people rarely get infected with B virus. A study of more than 300 animal care workers showed that none had B virus infection, including the 166 workers who had possible exposures to monkeys. The Florida Park Service is committed to ensuring visitor safety, providing high quality visitor service and protecting the natural resources located within the park. Since our parks and trails are natural environments, visitors may encounter wildlife. The Florida Park Service posts signs and flyers to educate visitors about wildlife and remind them to keep a safe distance and not to feed them or try to touch or capture them. Yeah, because most of the wildlife is fucking crocodiles that are twice your size. Yeah, I... Just kids, try not to touch the giant prehistoric fossil that's walking right there with a fucking giant mouth half your fucking size! So apparently they have some precautions to take, uh, just in case you run into a macaque that has fucking herpes B that will fucking spit on you in your eyes. Avoid contact and observe only from a safe distance. Well, no shit, but these things start running towards you. Avoid eye contact with the motherfuckers, for one and don't observe them, just run. Just fucking run from these things. People should not approach or feed Resus macaques. Who the fuck's still doing it? Who the fuck at this point would still be approaching or feeding them? I mean, this is the one time where we really need Steve Irwin back. He would have this problem taken care of, but I don't think even he would be touching this. He'd be like, mate, I'm not gonna fucking go near that. <laughs> she may be a beaut, but she's fucking infected, mate. I'm not getting infected with that fucking virus. Adults should supervise children and pets when outside. So, not only do you have to work a fucking 40 hour a week job, a full time job, and you have to take care of your kids, supervise your children inside the house, and observe, and you also have to supervise the pets all the time anyways, now you gotta supervise them both, outside, at all times. How the fuck did they come up with a super virus like that? They have a super STD, they have super herpes. The fuck? So, what's next? What could be possibly next? Is it going to be futuristic alligators from year uh, 2040 that come through a portal and somehow are demanding more oranges than Florida could possibly ever fucking uh, offer? I mean, what what the fuck? There's literally, it, you know, I've heard this being said, it's almost like this shit is made up. Thanks again for watching the Sunshine State of Emergency. These just don't get any less crazier. Well, thank you for drinking orange juice with me once again, and uh, try to uh, stay away from super herpes and all monkeys. Uh, try not to make eye contact with them, and try to make sure you observe your kids and pets at all times outside, or they're going to get herpes B and die within like 20 fucking minutes.